Hey folks, Dan Freer here with your market update for June 17th or the week of June 17th, 2024. So we're seeing mortgage rates just pitter patter where they are right now. The economic calendar for this week doesn't look all that robust. This is the week that's really hard because last week we had the Federal Reserve meeting, CPI numbers, inflation numbers all over the map. And this week it's kind of humdrum. Look, we don't have anything on Monday. Tuesday, we have core retail sales and retail sales. That's going to be focused on on a little bit. And then Wednesday, we got nothing. I don't mean nothing, but we have no economic news. We have on Thursday, initial jobless claims that could change the market a little bit. And that's about it. So I go deep diving to find out information that you guys might be interested in. So I came across an article in Yahoo Finance, and it's right through here. When will home prices drop? And that's what everybody's focusing in on. They're like, okay, the crash is coming. A lot of you guys are probably sitting on the sidelines saying, Dan, I don't want to buy in this market because the, the housing's going to crash or it might crash or maybe it will crash or rates are too high right now to do these things. So that's what we want to take a little bit of a look at this morning. So let's get over to this article. Let's take a kind of a deep dive into it to see what it's actually telling us. So the experts are saying, um, here, let's go up through here so I can make sure you can see this article is in fact that article, when will home prices drop? And it says right through here, experts say 2024 will not be the year that house prices drop. Well, everybody's been telling us 2021, 2022, 2023, and then 2024. Now they're saying it's not. Well, the reason behind that is, well, why? We go down through here and it's what we've been telling you the whole time. You go down through here, our price is going to go down. Nope. And the reason behind that is you just don't have enough inventory. It's right through here. Home prices will drop when a mixture of economic fa uh, factors favorably can collide. That is lower interest rates and more inventory. We don't have either and rates are kind of pitter pattering right at about the 7% range. When are rates going to go down? Well, the Federal Reserve said just the other day, they said most likely they're going to be having five, four, five, six rate cuts in 2025. So how do you make that work for you in your environment? Well, let's go down through here. This is explaining why there's, there's really no houses there. But if you really want to buy in this market, here's the strategies to take. Okay, this is what it's telling you. And it makes complete sense. Maybe look at buying and, and contemplate, you know, what the numbers would look like if you refinance. So maybe bite the bullet now for the next year. Maybe you're paying a little bit higher in, in, in payments, but then have the opportunity to refinance in the future. And I'm going to take a little bit of a deeper look into this here in a second so you guys understand the financing, refinancing part of this. Um, that, that's, that's number one. And a lot of people say, well, they, I don't like that attitude. I don't like to, uh, you know, marry the house and date the date, the payment or whatever they call because mortgage rates might not come down. Well, the federal reserve came out last week and said they're most likely going to. So let's at least take some of the, what their information they're giving us is as confidence in what they're going to do. Okay. So that's number one. Maybe you would look at, um, buying smaller. So you're in, a, in an apartment now, it's a two bedroom, one bath, no garage. And now you're looking at a four bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage with all the stuff. Well, yeah, that payment's going to go up and it might go up sizably. So be careful on what size you buy. Maybe you gradually move up. Like what I did, my generation, we bought a small house. Then we, we lived in there for five, six, seven, ten 10 years. And we sold it and bought another. I'm on my third home. Okay, so then I, every every move, I moved up just a little bit, you know, taking the equity from the one house and rolling it to the next one and so forth. Or maybe look at modular and manufacturing homes. There, There's tons of these properties out there as well, and financing is re readily available for those as well. So if you go down through here, let's look at some of the FAQs. Will 2024 be a good time to buy homes? And I get this is the number one question I usually get. Should I buy a house? Well, this option will be likely better fit for those who intend to be in their home for how long? Three to five years. And we've been preaching that forever. You can't, don't go into a house looking to buy, you know, keep it a year or two, flip it and make some money. It ain't going to happen unless you just luck out. I'll be, I'll be completely honest. If you're in a house, expect to break even maybe three, four, five years. And then from there, maybe make a little bit of money. And then as the longer you, you live there, the more equity you're going to build in your house. That's, that, that's number one. When is the best time for you to buy? The best time for you to buy is when you have a solid financial plan, steady employment, credit histories. It's basically what we've been preaching every day as well. When is the best time for you to buy? I don't know this. You need to know it for yourself. 
Are you financially ready, mentally ready? Are you in a location that you're most likely going to be in for a long time? That's that piece of it. And then down through here, I'll just summarize this. It's just basically telling you once again, we're not going to get uh, a housing drop in prices until we get ample supply. And the supply just, unfortunately, guys, it, it will come eventually as interest rates or people get more, more used to these interest rates or people are forced to sell. I don't see that financially, uh, a situation like we saw in 2008, but some people might be financially into that. And we need the builders to start building more and more and more. So that's that piece of it. But I want to take a little bit of a deep dive or not deep dive, just a little bit. Let's, let's dip our toes and how do you refinance? How do you refinance? So a lot of people say, well, if you don't have 20% equity in your house, you can't refinance. Well, that's completely wrong. It's, it's false. You can refinance a conventional loan up to 97% of the house's value, 97%. Now, if you want to go to, if you want to pull out cash, a lot of people call say, Dan, I got tons of equity in my property. I, I want to I tap into, well, is it equitable cash? Can, is it cash that you can get into or equity you can get into? Because you can only get into it normally uh, about 80, 90% of the house's value. You can't, you can't do a loan up to 100% of your house's value or the equity in your home. So you can only cash out normally about 80% on a primary loan and usually about 90% with a home equity loan. FHA is a little different. You can go to 97%. Okay, that, that's an area where that's that's usually a pretty simple one to do. And if the appraisal doesn't come in or whatever, FHA, you can do what's called a streamlined refinance where you don't even have to qualify with with uh, needing new appraisal and needing, needing new assets. As long as you're paying on your FHA loan now, uh, your credit scores are high enough and you haven't missed a payment in the last year, you should qualify for a refinance with FHA and it's pretty easy. VA, 100%, but they also have what's called a VA EARL. It's a really streamlined process to refinance a, a VA loan. You don't need an appraisal. In most cases, you don't need to verify your income there as well, just like an FHA. And you guys might say, okay, Dan, there's those crappy loans again. No, they're, what they're saying is if you could afford your payments now, you've never missed a payment. And what this refinance is going to do is give you a lower rate and lower payments well, why should we really care? It's actually reducing your payments and you're paying us well now. So that's their thought behind it. And then again, when you look at just mostly Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac and properties like that, you can usually go to about 95, 97% loan to value. So no, you don't need 20% equity in your home to refinance. So that's my report for today. Let's look at what the bond market's doing today. And there's no news today. And that's what this is shocking. It's down 15, not really quite sure why that's happening. So what that means, mortgage rates are gonna tick up just a little Little bit. We'll probably see about a three, four, five uptick in this. So probably we're going to be ticking back in the 7% range or the very, very low 7% range here uh, by midday. And then I'll do a closing report by the end of the day, let you guys know how the markets ended. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you find a little bit of value in this video on how to refinance and some other information in regards to the economic calendar for the week. So if you want to find out more about me and what I do and how I do things, I'm actually a loan officer. I'm licensed in all 50 states as well as Puerto Rico. Why aren't you using me? Okay. If you need a mortgage, please check us out. Go to rateupdate.com. First thing I want you to do is check and see if you're eligible for a grant that we have. There's three grant programs we have uh, access to, giving you pr loans or giving you grants up to $7,500. The nice thing about these things, it's not like UWM and the other ones. This is free money. You don't, it's not a lien on your property. You don't need to make payments. You don't need to pay it off. It's basically you walk out of the closing and that money is forgivable. So that's where we, the starting point for most people. And, um, uh, after you do that, hit the apply now button and you're on your way. It doesn't matter if you're looking to buy your first house, buy your second house, or maybe even refinance. That's where the apply now button comes in to check. So that's it for right now, folks. If you want to call us, give us a call. Scroll down to the bottom of our website. There that is. And right through here is my email address. And yes, this is me. And I will be returning your email. I promise you. Take care. And I'll see you later this afternoon at the closing bell. See you then. Bye-bye.